Oh hi there, and welcome to the demonstration of Race Tote Pro, which is the Auto Tote betting system. Now Race Tote Pro is a, is a standalone Windows application. Um, it's designed to run on a a fairly decent laptop, and um, it's pretty much self-contained. So let's run through some of the um, the interface. The first part you'll see obviously on the main racing tab here is that um, there is a single race, it's already named for you, and it gives you the information in the yellow is single forecast bets. In the red section is doing multi bets. In the blue section it's dual forecasts and in the green is try forecast bets. Now I'll explain each of those in turn as to what they are and, and what the functions are. But anyway, um, built into the software you have 11 races and you can navigate forwards and backwards through the races. So they're all um, pre-filled for you but you can actually edit these yourself and change them to, um, change them to whatever you like. So it doesn't have to be horses, it could be uh, like this one is um, for pig racing, it could be dog racing, it could be greyhound racing, it could be anything. It doesn't really matter um, um, what you race against. Anyway, so there's, there's 11 uh, races in there, and each race has um, 8 runners. Obviously, if you only had 3 runners, 4 runners, 5 runners, or whatever it is, you would obviously you could change them in here. Anyway. Um, the software itself is multi-currency, uh, so in the currency box here I've got it set to UK sterling, which is pounds, and the starting point is the bet units, and it tells you in here I've got 100 units, that equals a pound, and that's done for the, for the purpose of rounding, because each software that does financial calculations there is an element of rounding, so it's best to work in units. But you can clearly see how much they, how much um, one bet is. So 100 units is a pound. So each bet is a pound. And um, you can set how much you want to give to your out of that pound into charity, 10%, uh, 20%, or whatever you like. It's entirely up to you to raise funds for your given charity. Okay. So, um, that's the single forecast bets, and the way that you run it is that you press the relevant uh, runner button. So, if somebody wants to buy a tote ticket for race number one, runner number one, you press the one here. It will increase the number of bets, and then it will automatically print out a ticket at the other end. Okay, so. Um, that's very simple and then as you add the bets in it will keep a, a, a tally of how much um, cash has come into uh, the single forecast betting um, minus the uh, the charity and then obviously it gives you what the final payout is um, of that 110 pounds so and it also gives you which is quite useful as well is is all the the winning bet for say number one um, it gives you a breakdown of um, how many people uh, and what they receive so if you look here you've got five bets and the value is £19.60 and each one of those would receive 90 pence back if they won so that's a charity of 10% okay so that's fairly straightforward um, for single forecast bets um, let's move to, over to multi bets now multi bets is um, if a customer comes along and says I want to put 10 bets on number one so what you would do is you'd select your runner number one and it fills uh, the runner box in here and I want 10 bets so you say okay give me 10 bets and then I buy so you'll notice that the uh, it's changed here and then obviously the number of bets is increased here so it keeps a perfect tally of everything that's going on financially etc so that's all good um, let's move on to dual forecast bets. What that is, is it, somebody can actually choose the first and second pass of the post. 
and it's in any order to win as it states here so you can select runner number three and then I don't know runner number six and then you buy you buy the you buy the bet and in here it keeps a running tally very similar to the uh, single bets but remember the dual forecast bets are, are betting on their own um, and I have two bets here and they'll each receive one pound eighty so um, it keeps a, a perfect record for everything every transaction that you do moving on down to the green section this is dry forecast bets similar to dual forecast bets but this time you can choose one two and three past the post but they have to be in the right order okay so let's choose runner number two runner number five and say runner number six that's the one I want to buy so I buy those and the bets increase and um, the running total is kept there so at all times you know exactly where you are you know exactly how much money you've got in and how much money you need to pay out for all your um, people and it's fairly accurate um, okay so the other thing as well is I forgot to mention is that you can sponsor each race here you can put in a company name or a, a person or dedicated memory of or whatever it may be it's a good opportunity to actually um, get sponsorship for your, each of your races it's another way of raising some good needed funds so you could say to somebody you know come along and spend, sp sponsor my race you know the gold cup challenge and, 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 and for the privilege if you pay me 20 pounds when the ticket prints out and the tote tickets um, their sponsorship will be clearly visible on the ticket so it's a good way of advertising if they're a company selling a product or something so that's quite nice the other other feature is as well is that you can um, set the proceeds and, and here it is um, I've just set it, set it to my big charity etc just to demonstrate and, and this is fully editable so and likewise with the sponsorship and likewise with the races and all the runners so you can change all of that um, to your heart's content to suit whatever evening you're doing okay there is a there is a, a ledger for each race so if you go into the ledger tab this keeps a running uh, uh, list of all your bets for race one and it tells you here there's a code for S for single uh, further down there's M for a multi bet so um, there's 10 bets here on number six it gives you a time stamp of when it was bet so um, there's no mistake in it and also it gives you a serial number which is quite important which is also likewise printed on the ticket so you have a reference there um, to make sure that um, all the tickets are bona fide when being when the prizes are being claimed um, and it also stores it for um, the tri bets here on the dual bets it tells you that for a dual bet obviously there's only two runners and it's three and six and there's one bet there and it tells you that it's a dual bet in any order and there's the serial number as a cross reference likewise with the tri bets you have um, two five and six and there's a one bet and that's the time it came in and it tells you there this is a tri bet in any order sorry in this order sorry and then it gives you a serial number again and likewise it tells you where the proceeds are going and where the sponsor is going so just keep now if you want to get to race number two what you have to do is go uh, to race number two and then go to ledger and it automatically clicks over to the ledger for number two and this will all be populated when you get going okay so let's go back to uh, race one and also um, I would like to point out it also points out the odds for the single bets here but that's just an indication of, um, of what's popular and what's not popular and um, I'm not sure in the legal terms whether you're supposed to advertise that to your customers I don't think you are but that's something you'll have to take advice on I'm not a, a legal expert in terms of racing anyway um, the other thing to point out is that there's a profit tab up here so in the night or the end of the night you can go here and it tells you exactly all your takings for the whole 11 races what you took in single bets dual bets and tri bets it gives you the the, 
the totals for all the takings and also it also t gives you how much has gone to charity at the end of the night so obviously here 10 percent it was set to 10 percent 10 percent of 130 pounds is 13 pounds so that's your allocation to charity so that will obviously change depending on how much you decide on the evening how much you are going to donate to charity um, the other thing I, sh I should mention here is the there is a print configuration uh, tab and you can set um, a business card up in here you can put your name your email address your telephone number and your website and it will give you a sort of in the white area is a visual representation of how your business card will print out now you can print your business card from here or if you go back to the main racing page here you will see at the top there there is a print business card button so if someone says oh I love you I love the way you're doing the racing would you come along and do me a race night have you got a business card you just print the business card on your thermal printer it's as simple as that so let's go back to the printer configuration over here as well um, it gives you access here to um, your printer so you press the printer setup button and you can choose your thermal printer and it you can set your uh, page depths for your, for your specific thermal printer so that's something you'll have to read your manual on your thermal printer but um, the printer that um, I recommend um, is an 80 millimeter wide uh, thermal printer and these are readily available on the likes of uh, eBay Amazon any uh, good reputable um, selling website you can get these they're fairly cheap I think mine cost me about 60 pounds and that's not bad you'll get your money back on that on the race nights fairly fairly quickly so there you go so that's uh, the um, uh, print setup um, there's a couple of little tabs here it's just an introduction there's nothing majorly going on there it's just a nice little picture on the instruction tabs it runs through all the different areas it gives you an overview of what it is each uh, tab does and it also says down here you, you, you know, it recommends that you have a trial run before going live so you get used to the software I thoroughly recommend that you do that so that you get fully acquainted with it so when you go to your first race night there'll be no hiccups you can uh, fire away and have an enjoyable time um, the other thing I should mention is that, as I said to you it was built for the laptops uh, modern laptops these days um, optimum screen size is 1920 by 1080 so that should f fit perfectly to a, to a modern laptop if not then on the main racing tab there are some zoom and fit fe zoom and fit features here some buttons down here which you can uh, make smaller or larger the screen to fit your uh, particular laptop so that's entirely up to you okay so you've done your race night you've done all your your profits etc um, which is great if you want to keep a a running record of how your race nights are going um, and you want to print out you can export all the data to a CSV file and you can open it in the likes of notepad or um, Excel spreadsheet or any um, third party program that can read CSV and it's a good way of, of, of tallying up the records um, if you need to sort of like make a report on the race night for anybody okay the last important thing is the reset data button now before you start the, the race night you must reset all your data we don't want any stray data in there and the way that you do that is you press the reset all data button I've tried to make it as plainly as possible that it will reset your data so this is something you don't want to do halfway through your race night I can be um, I can assure you it's not the right thing to do so that's the last thing you want to do or the first thing you do before you start your your racing so if I press the button and it will say it'll ask you if you want to reset to zero and you go OK just press OK and you notice here everything is set to zero nil amounts in the receive there everything should be back to zero the only thing it doesn't reset is all the names and uh, the race numbers it doesn't do that because obviously you want them populated and it doesn't reset the bet units it's something that you need to to look at and decide how you're going forward in terms of currency you just need to um, change the currency um, symbol so if you were in America you would put a dollar sign or wherever whatever country you're in 
just change the symbol and that symbol changes all throughout the whole system so you know exactly where you are okay at the top there on the top right hand side it says register because there is a registration system and um, when you purchase the software you'll be um, asked to send in some details from the from the front screen when you first launch the software and then uh, once I receive that I'll send you back the unlock code um, for the software now the software is uh, device specific so it's licensed to a device only one device if you want more than one device just for argument's sake you're running say um, more than one race night in different areas or whatever or you had different DJs running race nights or wh whoever is running a race night you want more than one license I'm happy to discuss uh, discounts for volume licensing and I think that's in, in a nutshell um, I think you, it's worthwhile when you've purchased the software having a trial run and seeing how you get on um, and enjoy it thank you